Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a topiary. This is a really simple painting to do. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. That helps my channel grow and I'd really appreciate that. And thank you very much for watching. I'm using acrylic paints for this project and my colours are titanium white, primary yellow, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. I did my drawing first on tracing paper so that I could fold it in half and get the topiary as symmetrical as possible. And then I painted watercolour paper blue with white for a sort of cloud background. And um, I put my topiary drawing onto that, transferred it onto that. I'm using sap green and primary yellow as a mid-tone, mixing that together with a little titanium white and that will be the base colour of the topiary. It's a beautiful day here in southwest Florida so I have my sliding doors wide open and there are children playing so you'll hear those in the background and we've got lots of birds on the pond today so you'll probably hear those as well. I'll decide which uh, direction the light is coming from and add my lights and darks. I'm using raw sienna for the um, stem of the topiary and I'm assuming this is sort of one of those generic, um, I don't know what they make topiaries of, um, boxwood, I think we'll call this a boxwood topiary. I'm painting the pot grey, but um, this, is, this video is not about the pot, the topiary itself is the main item. Um, so I won't go into much detail. I will be finishing it with paint pens. Um, There's sort of fleur de lis thing on the front, which I've covered up now, but I will put the tracing back on, draw in the lines, and then use paint pens to finish it off. I actually transferred my tracing to three sheets of watercolour paint, per which I will... Um, do in different ways and show you but um, I might put that up in another video or tack it onto the beginning of another video so that you can see how you can um, change up a basic design. I ran out of light today and um, I was doing other stuff and got distracted so but I'll show you later. Right now I'm putting on um, my shadow side and I'm using the sap green mixed with French ultramarine blue. And for the light side, I'm using um, sap green mixed with primary yellow. And I'll probably add some titanium and make an even lighter highlight on there. I'm showing you a little of the foreground. Um, this painting really isn't about the foreground. It's really only about the topiary and I'll do other videos to show you how I paint the pot and the foreground. So you're not really missing out. You just need to watch a few more videos. I'm going to use an old bristle brush to add texture and um, I use it like you would use a stencil brush I suppose and just pounce it on, pounce the colour onto the um, canvas, well in this case watercolour paper and I'm doing my shadow side first and the two sides sort of mingle along the middle 
I'll add some primary yellow to this color and then put that on the opposite side where I think the light will be hitting. With the shadow and the highlight in place, um, it gives a sense of roundness, of dimension to the topiary, which is um, what gives it a more realistic look. I quite often add highlights to my highlights and shadows to my shadows. Um, I like a, a rich depth, I think is the way of putting it, to my paintings. I don't like them to look too realistic. I like to sort of try and keep an impressionistic look, but I do like a lot of texture in my painting and a lot of shadow and um, well, dimension, that's it really. I like to use a bristle fan brush for grasses and weeds and to give texture to the landscape. I think they work, it works well. You have to remember to be consistent with lights and darks and I almost always put uh, lizard and crimson on my stems and tree trunks and um, especially when I'm painting roses because I think that you see the red in a rose stem don't you but in any case I think it makes things look lively I think it livens up the picture no end So I think that's it really. It's quite a simple painting to do and it can be varied in a number of different ways. I'll show you that in another video. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.